Hey guys, this is Doosa TV News with your weekly roundup of news in Dundee. I'm Morgane. And I'm Flora. Thousands of students across Scotland have been left financially stranded as the Scottish Government admits that more than 7,500 student loan applications have not been processed by SAS. This has left many students struggling to pay for rent, food and other living costs. A Dundee University spokesman said, Anybody in this situation is advised to contact the university's funding department to arrange an emergency short-term loan until the problem has been rectified. So if you're struggling, check out the details on the link below and contact the department. Following on from the recent Dundee Literary Festival, a series of science spin-offs will be held at the university this month. Dr. David Darling, comedian Ben Miller and wildlife documentary cameraman Doug Allen will all be speaking from the 3rd to the 17th of November on topics as diverse as asteroids, alien invasions and planet Earth. Tickets are available by visiting the link below. Last Monday was bonfire night. Thousands of local residents and students flocked to Lockheed Park to see what turned out to be an incredible display. The team tagged along with the International Student Society to check it out. Absolutely spectacular. In yet more sporting success for Dundee, Ailish McCulgan, a maths and accountancy student at the university, is set to be one of seven Scottish student athletes to receive scholarships from the Winning Students program, which helps youngsters combine education and sporting excellence. This is yet another step forward for the 21-year-old runner, who represented Team GB at the London Olympics over the summer. Well played, Ailish! On Sunday 11th November, the Union is the venue for the launch of Exposure. Up-and-coming bands, copper lungs, the miniature dinosaurs, the red paintings and cherry phosphate will be playing down in mono. Tickets are £2 in advance or 4 on the door. Doors open at 8pm, so come on down. Here's another instalment of This Day in History. In 1917, the October Revolution took place in Russia, with the Bolsheviks overrunning the Winter Palace. But why is it called the October Revolution? Well, Russia at this time used the old-school Julian calendar, as opposed to the rest of the world, which had instead switched to the Gregorian calendar. In 1874, the American Republican Party was symbolized as an elephant for the first time in a cartoon in Harper's Weekly. The elephant went on to become the mascot of the party, in contrast to the Democratic Party's donkey. In 1989, David Dickens is elected as the first African-American mayor of New York City. And now, back to the studio. One of the main challenges students face is money. Student services are currently running a series of advisory sessions with outside experts on financial matters. Every day from this week until the 16th of November, students can take full advantage of this advice by coming to the Dalhousie Building foyer from midday to two, where you will have the opportunity to talk to an advisor, not only about managing your finances now, but also how to minimize your student debt in later years. Tomorrow night, the History Society will be hosting their regular pub quiz event at Duke's Corner Pub on Brown Street. It's one pound entry, all are welcome and there are cash prizes available, so come on down and put your pub knowledge to the test. Remember, if you've got any news for us, send it to info at dusa.tv and it might be featured in next week's show. That's all for this week, Dundee! Extract 8, take 2. Cut. Boom. Yes. Wow. Boom. <laughs> Hmm? I'm going to start with that one, and then you okay. are going to like start meditating and then vanish. 
Ay, no, 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 no,